So hello everybody and welcome to another 25 days of Dax Rising Days challenge. This time is for solution of day 9. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, all the details are on the description down below. So go and check it out. It's not too late to participate, just do it, okay? And uh, now if you're stuck on day 9 or you would like to see how I did it, this is the video. So let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so day nine, the question in day nine was, what is the average sales per transaction for a company called Romero y Tomillo, and Tomillo. So this is a company name, right? In the Northwind data set. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, so let's do it first without DAX. So we're going to create a table. Where we have from the customer table, the company name, and we're going to find our customer, which is Romero y Tomillo, Tomillo, not Tomillo, Romero y Tomillo, okay, now average sales per transaction, so we need to have the total sales, total, total sales, there you have it, and then we want to have the order ID, because this, this is per transaction, per order, you have it there, and now, what we need to do is to do the average of these. Obviously, without DAX, don't know how to do it. So what I've done is I downloaded to Excel. This is the data in Excel. These are the sum of sales per order. And this is the average for the orders that Romero Antomillo has made. So we have to get 293.458 okay, with DAX. So how do we do with DAX? So let's go to our measures table where we're loading in all our solutions. We're going to do day nine. And what we're going to calculate first is the average of the orders. So we're going to do average x for the distinct values of order ID, order ID, and then is the average of what? Of the sales, of total sales. And this is going to give us the average, but we want to have the average just for Romero and Tobillo. So one easy way to do that is you go up here and you do a calculate, and then you have here customer name, or company name is Romero y Tomillo. <laughs> Tomillo. So, put it in there, in a beautiful card, and hopefully we manage to get the correct result, which is 293.46, which is what we got in Excel. So, now we've got done. Okay, so did you get it right? Let me know, how many have you gotten right? And are you enjoying the challenge? As always, I will see you again tomorrow with more DAX challenges. See you tomorrow.